When Elise Gumley admitted herself to Essendon Private Clinic four months ago, she was suicidal. Like a part of going into hospital is like everyone can just take a breather because you're going to be in a place where you're safe. But I wasn't. No one was. She's been in and out of the 32-bed facility numerous times over the past five years for treatment for bipolar 1 disorder and says the care used to be top tier. But this time, she alleges in her first two days at EPC, she was mostly alone in her room and rarely checked by nursing staff. Imagine if someone had cancer and no, no nurse ever like looked at, um, went into their room or anything like that. That's what it feels like. Four former patients have told the ABC patient welfare checks rarely occurred, bag searches were substandard and people self-harmed after smuggling things in, and many staff were inexperienced and avoided contact with patients. It's alleged that maintenance of the facility was so bad that poor plumbing meant sewage sometimes overflowed into rooms. In all my years of of mental health nursing, this is definitely the worst facility I've worked in. Mental health nurse Jess Anderson has 17 years' experience and left EPC four months ago after she felt the bottom line was prioritised over patient safety. We had the maximum amount of patients in so we could get the maximum amount of profit. It was not a hospital, it was a business. The union vice president says in June just three nurses out of about 40 were qualified mental health nurses. I still feel a a great level of distress for the the, the patients who are currently there at the moment. Patients pay their private health funds approximately $9,000 a year to use EPC. There is massive unmet need for mental health services in the community and we can't be wasting a dollar on harmful substandard facilities that are just out there to make a dollar. In a statement, Macquarie Health Corporation strongly denied the allegations, saying high-quality patient care and standards were at the core of its business. It says it now has eight out of 32 nurses who have postgraduate mental health qualifications and that it conducts hourly observation checks on all patients. Elise says she believes vulnerable people are being taken advantage of. This is something I live with for the rest of my life. Like, I don't... Bipolar doesn't end. And people have to understand that, like, we need quality care because our life is, like, hangs in the balance. Jessica Longbottom, ABC News, Melbourne.